Hey, so thank you for sticking with us. We're gonna try and get a check of the weather now with Steve Liebenthal, if he is able to join us for the weather. Steve, it was near yeah, perfect porch weather today, but <laughs> I certainly enjoyed it. Better than our technical difficulties, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, we have some cloud cover out there, but it's not really causing our temperatures to be cool. In fact, our temperatures have risen, uh, and that's a trend that's going to continue for the next couple of days. Let's take a look at those current temperatures. It's 66 right now in Boise. Not bad at all. If the sun was shining, it would be a lot warmer than that. 68 is the temperature right now in Mountain Home. It's 67 in Ontario. Even in the mountains, those temperatures warming up. It's 51 degrees right now in both McCall and Stanley, and 63 is the current temperature in Twin Falls. And as I said, temperatures will continue to rise. Tomorrow, we'll have temperatures very similar to what we had today. But you can see how much we've had uh, in increase in those temperatures over the last 24 hours. It's five degrees warmer in Boise than it was at this time yesterday. Nine degrees right now warmer than it was at this time yesterday in Mountain Home. Same in Haley. So temperatures warming up. And again, we'll see those temperatures continue to rise despite the fact that we do have a storm system in the region. And you can see our uh, future cast showing those clouds sticking with us overnight. The result of that will be warmer temperatures tomorrow morning than what we experienced this morning. Skies were clear this morning, and when those skies clear, you get what's known as radiational cooling. It's really the earth that uh, heats up the atmosphere, not the sun. The sun heats the earth, then the earth heats the atmosphere. So when we have clear skies, all of that heat that has been absorbed by the earth then escapes out into space and temperatures cool. That's radiational cooling. We won't see as much of that tomorrow because those clouds kind of act as a blanket and just uh, keep things nice and comfortable overnight. We do see sunshine uh, for a good part of the day here in the valley tomorrow, but you notice some showers popping up over mountain locations, nothing extreme, and they really mostly pop up over places where there are higher peaks. So you'll see those clouds gather on the peaks, and then they could turn into showers as we go into late afternoon and into the evening. But generally, things will be drying out as we go into Monday and Tuesday. There you see Monday, you saw those showers trying to pop up once again in the afternoon, but again, not a big concern. It will be very pleasant on Monday. And our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook shows our region being just slightly warmer than average. The area in gray there is average, as you can see. The area in orange, uh, warmer than average, and we'll be right in between those. So slightly warmer than average as we look out toward the end of the month and into early May. So uh, things looking pretty good. Hopefully we'll be able to get out and enjoy more of this uh, soon. Here's a look at what happened in McCall today. We started out with clear skies, but some clouds did come and go throughout the day. Uh, that uh, didn't really affect those temperatures. As I said, 51 the afternoon high today. And as we go through the next three days, we'll see lots of sunshine. Most of the cloud cover with the storm system will stay to the south. Monday and Tuesday afternoon highs reaching the mid 50s in that region. There you see the clouds moving through right now. They're associated with the storm system that's off the coast. You see the precipitation around Portland and say, well, shouldn't that be headed our way? The area of low pressure that is bringing those is diving down to the south and will move uh, uh, just to the south of us. So we will see some clouds in southern Idaho uh, and the possibility of some scattered showers, especially over mountain locations, and then just those very scattered and isolated showers in the mountains to the north. So partly cloudy skies, winds up to 10 miles per hour, morning lows in the 40s, afternoon highs mid to upper 60s, just down to freezing in Idaho City, but up to 57 in the afternoon. Still below freezing in McCall and Donnelly, but up to 52 degrees in the afternoon. That chance of a shower here here and there, but again, not a lot to worry about. Partly cloudy around Stanley, 22 for the low, 51 for the afternoon high. Our extended forecast for the next three days here in the valley shows plenty of sunshine, just that slight possibility of shower for tomorrow and an afternoon high of 67. Then we go to the 70s on Monday and Tuesday, but as we look at the rest of the week, we see a system potentially coming in on Wednesday that would bring some showers and cool our temperatures somewhat, but even that 64 on Thursday is about average for this time of year, and so far it looks like next weekend we'll be back to the 70s. Looking pretty good. Yeah, the 70s sounds great. Thank you, Steve. As Idaho News 6 reports